Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont and I am the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. Today I'm going to be talking about how to use search in Google Drive. And this is a topic that I actually addressed in my book. And uh, while the basics are pretty easy to understand, there's actually quite a, be there's quite a few special features that are worth sharing with, with readers as well. And here we have Google Drive. This is the personal version uh, that should be visible to anybody who's using uh, drive.google.com uh, on the web. This happens to be in the Firefox browser, but if you were using Google Chrome or Safari or Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer or whatever, it would look basically the same. Uh, you have to be logged in, of course, uh, to, to use the search feature and to get the most out of it. So the problem is a lot of people have when they come to Google Drive is they have a million files. Well, maybe not a million, but let's say a, a few hundred files or maybe even a few thousand files. And that's certainly the case for me. I've been using Google Drive and Google Docs for you know nearly 10 years, I think, maybe even longer than that. And I have a lot of files by now. And what Google Drive does is when you first come to it, is it will show you a little snapshot of the ones you've used recently, which is helpful. And then they'll show you all of the uh, folders and files that you have. And you know you might have created something a few years ago or it's buried in a bunch of folders and you don't know where to find it or you don't want to go clicking through everything to find it. So you need to use search. And search, like as, as with Google's core search product on the web, uh, Google Drive search is also very effective. And they've made it pretty helpful to find uh, files or folders that fall under certain criteria. So as soon as you put your cursor in the little drive window at the top of Google Drive, it'll show you the most common types of files. So let's take a look at presentations. And what it will do is it will show you the uh, presentations that you've made, not only in Google Slides, but also in PowerPoint. And you've uploaded them to Google Drive. So you can see all of these different uh, presentations that I've made. What they do is that they sort it in the order that it was created, with the most recent one showing up at the top. Uh, that is the one, the one that I've, I've modified most recently. And then you can go through and see the other ones that are older. And you could keep on scrolling down and seeing all of them, but it might take a long time. Uh, the other thing you can do is see the oldest first. So you just, you just uh, click, click on the arrow here, reverse sort direction, and then it will show you the oldest one. So you can see I created a presentation, uh, this is eight years ago, and it, it shows up here. You can also sort by file size simply by clicking on it. Actually, it's not going to let me do that. Um, but the other, some of the other options include relevance. And relevance often means how often a keyword shows up in the file, but it can also mean how often you get into it. Uh, that is how often you open it up and take a look at it. So uh, that's one way to search. And then other ways that you can search, uh, you can search for all the PDFs that you have. And, and by the way, you'll see that in the, in the search window here, it has typed PDF. I didn't type that. It, Google made a little shortcut for me. But if you typed it yourself, type colon PDF, the same results would show up here. So uh, Google's made it easier just by giving you this visual option where you can click on it and see everything instantly. So uh, one other thing that's worth mentioning is, you know, well, that's fine. So you can see all the PDFs or all the spreadsheets or presentations that you have. What about if you want to search for a name for something? And you can do that too. So let's say that I have some files that I know have the, have the name SF11 update. And this refers to my graduate school uh, uh, newsletter that I write. And you can see I've been writing them for many, many years. So what it's doing is it's showing me a list. Let's get th this, by the way. There's one additional item in, in your uh, trash. That means if you've trashed an item that has the same name, SF11 update in it, you can, you, you can look at that too, unless you've permanently deleted it. But uh, anyways, the, I've searched for SF11 update. And here are all of the files that I've created over the years that have that in it. So that's pretty helpful because that helps me sort it down. But as you can see, I still have dozens or, or maybe even more than that uh, files, Google Docs files with SF11 update in it. It might be in the name SF11 update or it might be it's uh, not specifically in the name, but it's in the text within that document. And if I want to narrow things down, Here's a really helpful tip to do that. 
you can add text, other text that appears inside the, the document or the spreadsheet or the presentation in quotation marks and Google will find that particular file. And what, what, it, what Google is doing when you say new baby, it's, it means that Google will look in all of the files that have SF11 update in it, either in the name or in the text, but then specifically contain the text new baby. So let's press return and see what happens. Okay, this means in these three documents that, that meet the criteria of mentioning SF11 update or they have SF11 and update inside the file or the file name, plus the exact phrase, new baby, it will show up in the search results. So if I click this open or I click this one open, somewhere in the text, it would be new baby, that phrase exactly. And um, you can refine it even further. So you could say new baby girl. Let's see if anything shows up. Okay, so there's no, none of the, none of the uh, files that I have in my Google Drive account have the exact phrase new baby girl. So I can ignore that. Now the interesting thing is, so we've just, we've just done a search for SF11 update and the exact phrase new baby. If you take away SF11 update, what happens? All right, it's, it's gonna show you the new results, but I was actually hoping it would include other results that don't mention SF11. So uh, if I actually, here's another example. If I just wanted to find every single file that has the phrase new in it, it will, th these are all of them. There's a lot, there's quite a few of them. Um, so that's, that's another way to use very focused search. You can also do something like this. You can do new and then PDF. So this is gonna search for all the PDFs that I have that have the phrase new inside, and that should be a big list as well. And act, interestingly, it's not only showing PDFs, it's actually showing some other types of files. That's because somewhere in the, like in this spreadsheet, I mentioned PDF. So it's showing up in the search results as well. One thing that's helpful if you're browsing this and you don't like looking, you're not, maybe you're not a very uh, you know, fast reader, you just wanna see what, what the files actually look like, if you go over to this icon here, it says grid view and click on that, it'll show you a little uh, screenshot of what the file looks like. So you can see I have all kinds of stuff in here. Sometimes it, there's no image that it can show, uh, but sometimes there is. Like this is a, uh, a PDF that has, that has some Chinese characters on it and it's showing a little picture. So if I know I'm looking for that, it's easy for me to zero in on it. And then if you wanna switch back to the text view, hover over it and you click list view. For more information on how to get the most out of Google Drive and Google Docs, including search, check out my book, Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. And thank you so much for watching.